What's up guys, it's Zane here and welcome to a PK Honor video. Today I'm going to be talking about Elite Clue Scrolls and how I feel they're essentially ruining PVMing. So if you don't know what an Elite Clue Scroll is, it's an item that can be dropped by any monster that is level 275 and above. Once you get this Elite Clue Scroll, you can't get any other Elite Clue Scrolls and you have to finish that one or drop that one to get another one. Uh, so, how do you finish an Elite Clue Scroll? You're going to get a couple of riddles, a couple of places you need to go, a couple items you need to wear and talk to certain NPCs, and then after you do around 6 to 11 riddles, generally you get an Elite Casket. This Elite Casket can either be sold to players for 1 bill to 1.5 bill, or you can open it for the chance of getting a Magic Stone, which costs hundreds of bills. Uh, so obviously that's why it costs around 1 to 1.5 bill uh, to buy and sell these elite caskets because people want that magic stone either for death or because they want to actually turn a profit by reselling the actual magic stone. So how is this ruining PBMing? Now, I'll be honest, the idea of death isn't something that I really enjoy and I've made videos and I've talked about this in the past that I don't feel that death should be in the game. I feel that it actually essentially ruined PVMing in and by itself. However, that's not what this video is about. It's about Elite Clue Scrolls. And the reason I feel that Elite Clue Scrolls are ruining PVMing is because everybody is so focused on gaining an Elite Clue Scroll instead of, say, gaining Bandos from Bandos or a Ceradomen crossbow from, or Armadale crossbow from Ceradomen, an Armadale set from Armadale going to Nex get, to get Nex. Everybody is really focused on what is the most efficient way to get an Elite Clue Scroll. And currently, the most efficient way, in my opinion, and in many other people's opinions, to get an Elite Clue Scroll scroll is by doing barrows. I personally have gotten three elites in one hour. I know many people that have gotten two elites in one hour uh, and even people that have gotten four elites in one hour. I know one person that got four elites in one hour. They actually didn't do those elites. They dropped them, but they still got those four elites. I also got three elites and I was dropping them as well because if I made this video saying that they should nerf barrows, then that would be pretty hypocritical if I profit off it uh, before I actually made the video. So, um, why is it bad that Elite Clue Scrolls are dropping so frequently at Barrows? Well, the reason for this is because Barrows is a low tier PVMing spot. It really doesn't take much to get into Barrows, and honestly, it doesn't take anything at all. You can use your pure stats, immediately get to Barrows, buy some prayer potions, buy some basic armor, and you can start doing Barrows. Obviously, you can vote and make a little bit of money, and if you have you know 200 mil or so, you'll be much more efficient at killing barrows and that's probably the better idea than starting off with it but overall what i'm trying to say is as a new player you can get into one of the better money making methods in the game and that is great for those new players but it's bad for the overall economy and the reason for this is because the elite clue scroll is not an item that benefits the game not only does it add more deaths into the game which as i've said before i feel is a bad thing but it's giving them just one bill in GP. It's not giving them an actual item. It's not really implementing an item into the economy that's going to help out players. A lot of people say that on PK Honor, it's difficult to get into money making and it's difficult to get these items like custom whips, like Nex, like Bandos, Armadale, anything that you basically want. And I feel that a lot of players are going to say, no, 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 no don't nerf barrows i love it i love being able to get anywhere from one to two caskets regardless of who i am at barrows but it needs to be nerfed it needs to be removed because barrows is a low tier pvming spot it doesn't take much to actually get into barrows what they should do or what mike should do is lower the low tier areas make it so that if you go into the wilderness like it is right now actually you have a pretty good chance of getting an elite the wilderness should be the best place to get elites. Uh, the wildy worm, uh, chaos elemental, uh, and all those bosses that are in the wilderness should have a fantastic chance of getting an elite. Um, mithril dragons should have a pretty good chance as well, which they do. Uh, and barrows shouldn't, because barrows isn't risky. You know, uh, Barrows is very, very simple. You shouldn't be dying. Nobody should ever die at Barrows. And because of that, it's a very low tier PVMing spot. Areas like Barrows, Armadale, Nex, etc. should be much more efficient for elite hunting than Barrows should. And because of that, because if 
Uh, essentially, if you make it so that elites drop more frequently than barrows at places like Bandos, Armadale, Nex, um, you know, Barrel Chest, wherever you're talking about, it's going to make those items that those creatures drop crash a lot. It's going to make Bandos lower in price. It's going to make Armadale lower in price. It's going to make the Armadale crossbow, the Hosta, all these items lower in price. And for players that already have these items, they may say, oh, no, 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 I don't want my items to lower. But it's a necessary evil because you guys remember, you guys are the ones that complain and say that money making is difficult. And I'll, I'll, you know, agree with you on this server is rather difficult compared to other servers. Uh, however, I do think that uh, the inflation of the server and how our economy actually works makes it look a lot more daunting than it actually is because people will say, well, you need around 100 build to get custom whips and Torba when in fact, you know, you don't. Uh, well, you do, but it's not as much as 100 build seems like it is because on most servers, you know, 100 build, that's like the number one player, the richest player. But on here, 100 build really isn't that much so what do i think they should do what are my suggestions uh instead of having barrows uh, dropping constant elites because i think if you're going to suggest something you should put something in its place that's better if we were just to say nerf barrows to the ground make it pretty much a you know make it so that barrows is what it used to be you can get barrows from it and that's about it maybe add a very small chance of getting an elite maybe every five hours on average you get an elite but it shouldn't be somewhere where i can go to barrows and get one to three elites per hour so instead as i said before make bandos you know god wars dungeon in in itself and make those higher tier bosses make w wilderness bosses etc drop a lot of elite it's going to push players there which yeah in itself isn't good like i talked about before it's not good to just pump out these elite clue scrolls and get more deaths into the game but you know it's either this or that you know uh, and what that's going to do is it's going to lower the prices of these bulk items that a lot of people pick up like bandos like armadale like hostas like uh, armadale crossbows etc and for players that already have those items it's going to seem like a horrible thing however for the longevity of the server it's going to be a good thing because it's not going to be as daunting when a player logs in and sees that you know bandos isn't two bill it's one bill that's a lot more uh, accessible to the average player even if it's not actually changing the price the the actual price of the item is changing however the difficulty of getting that item won't actually be different for a new player if you understand what i'm saying now we could actually change that and that could be another suggestion is make these god wars dungeon drops and uh, all these different items drop more frequently don't worry about the item crashing it's not that big of a deal overall yes those players that already have those items might be slightly annoyed however like i said the longevity of the server is much more important you want players to be able to log in and immediately start pking and i know mike's working on making it so you really can immediately start pking he's making it so you, that you start off with prayer etc etc and the thing about this is i'm totally for making players be able to start PKing right away and if they put a little work in maybe a week's worth of work or a couple days worth of work they can have bandos and things of that nature but the thing is is currently players don't want to risk that bandos and we need to make it so that they feel that they can risk that bandos so we need to make sure that our combat system is good and we need to make sure that they feel that even if they lose this ba this bandos they can go back and get it so i hope you enjoyed this video guys i hope you guys uh, comment below and discuss this topic what do you think of elite clue scrolls do you think that they should be plentiful like they are right now in low risk areas or do you think that they should be moved to higher risk areas because that's going to make more items become uh, a part of the economy essentially that's going to lower the uh, prices of the items and that's going to look a lot less daunting for new players so i uh, hope you enjoyed if you did hit that subscribe button if you're new around here uh, you can hit that like button i know that was totally opposite but who cares peace